everybody welcome to academic coordinates we welcome you to join us during our grade 6 multiplication sums so over here i'm not quite a person who explains much but i'm going to help you through the process of these five sums so today we're doing grade 6 mal Multiplication. So today is not much, but it's to just go you through the process of this multiplication. I think last year in grade four or five, you were taught this as a method of doing um multiplication, and there were two kinds of doing it. There was short multiplication and long multiplication. So today I'll be doing the two methods, but it's just one sum. So an A is 378 times 12. Get it? 378 times 12. Then we're going to draw our block. Okay, guys, this is the method that we that was taught in grade 6. And then, yeah, guys, this is the method. Then now we're going to start doing it, right? So now we're doing, um, so this is how you do it. 3, 7, 8, then going down like this, right? Then now I'm going to take a different color red. And do it like this. Throwing blocks that go like this. Sorry for not using a ruler, guys, but I'm really trying here. So right now, eight times, okay, now let's multiply. Eight times one is eight right seven times one is seven three times one is three so guys if we times a number so guys if we times a number from one it remains the same but on the top block over here remains zero right so now eight times two is 16 so now, guys, this is a different change now. So now, 8 times 2. We know that it's 16, but the fact is that, where do we write it? The 6 stays here in the in the bottom triangle, and the 1 will come here. The very same thing with the other two sums. And then, and then 7 times 2 is 14, the very same thing that we did. 14, and then here... There's a trick over here. 3 times 2, right? So, 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 is not... It doesn't have 2 digits. It only has 1. So, we're just going to write it as... The way we wrote it on the first column over here. So, we'll say 6. And then, on the top block, 0. I don't know if you can see this, but... So, now, let's calculate... Here, from this block, here it's 6. Then, 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 4, let's calculate. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, it's 13. Thank you. So, then 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So, now let's calculate. 9 plus 6 is... 9 plus 6, um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, guys, it's 16, it's 15, sorry. Put a 1 on top. So, now 3 plus 1 is 4. So, now here is the number, right? So, now let's do it in the other method, right? The one that they taught us in grade 4 or 5, but I don't know, but it's your option. So, right now going to draw the block okay i don't know which color i should do this but 
Okay, now the method, the method that is starting grade um four or five, right? Yes, the method that is starting grade four or five. Guys, people, we are getting old. You might not remember when we were taught what and what and what, but what I just know is that it's those two grades. So now, guys, things are now different, right? Let's see if the answer might be the same. Guys, the method that was taught in grade 6 is a very easy one, but I was also struggling with it. But as I also want to share this with you is that I don't want you to have the very same struggle, especially now it's term 4 and... Now, some people are starting to write exams, right? So now I do this. 3, 7, 8, then you write the 12 underneath, dot, then you put the times, right? So now, guys, I don't know if you would like for me to put a divider over here. Method 1 and method 2. I don't know, method 1, method 2, whatever. So... Sorry if I'm not choosing a ruler, but this is how it is. So now, guys, before we calculate, guys, this is important. Before we calculate, we do a very important thing over here. And I'm going to write it in red. See? So now, um, it's 3. We have to write 3, 7, 8 times 2. Then, now we add... The golden zero, guys. It's important. Then we write the um, 3, 7, 8 times 1. Then we put the plus. Now we can start calculating. And then, now with my pink pen, cookie pen, I'll say 8 times 2 is 16. Hold it there with the 1 on top. Then 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. Hold it there on top, on your mind. Then now 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 6 plus 1 is 7. And then now we add the golden zero with my nice red over there. Now we continue. Right. Then now we say... 8 times 1 is 8, 7 times 1 is 7, 3 times 1 is 3. Now put the dot on top, now put a plus. Sorry for not using a ruler, guys. I'm really sorry. Then now we calculate. Now we add. It's 6 over here, 8 plus 5 is, I think it's 13, but let's calculate first. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I was right, it's 13. Put the one on top. 7 plus 7 is 14. Plus 1 is 15. Then now 3 plus, now 3 plus 1 is 4. Well done, guys, for doing this with me. But I'm not quite yet done. Right. Now I'm going to do, I hope you understand this, but for you to understand, like, everything is for me to do all of the five sums with you i already did one and then now i'm going to do the second one right b will be okay now i skip a line here oh sorry let's skip a line let's say 27 times 28 okay so guys People listening, you might be 12, 11, but guys, who cares about age? Just do it. Even if you're in grade 5, but just learn. Or maybe you just came for you to understand the method that they taught you in grade 4, or the very same grade you are in today, in this year. Eh? But ever since COVID came... But guys, we all know giving up is not something you like. So right now, I would just like you to focus. Get it? Focus. Okay, now method, grade 6. 
Okay, okay, I'll just say the method of grade 6 is method 1. Then over there, I'll just say it's method 2. Must you can see it on top over here. Method 2, right. Again, I apologize, not using a ruler. But unfortunately, I can't stand up. Right, so... I'll say 27 times 28. Now, guys, this is how we put it. Now, I'll take my lovely red cookie pen and do this. Wala, wala, wala. So, guys, if you're closer, it's good for you. But if a person wearing earphones, I'll scream. 7 times 2. Okay, guys, 7 times 2 has 2 digits. It's not like the very first one over here, right? So, yeah, it's not like the very same one on top. Here, ne? That's because it... That's because I was timesing it by 1. But here it's a different number. Times two means maybe two digits or one digit, right? But in this situation, seven times two is 14. So I'll just put the one over here, then the four over here. Can you see it? Yes. So now seven times eight. Guys, if you don't learn your times tables, I, I also struggle on my times tables. The only times tables I know is from times 1 until times 6. But the one from times 7, I might guess, but maybe it's not a good thing. Maybe let me go check over there. Guys, please look at my sums because right now, you might wonder. Alright. So, 7 times 8 is 56. Okay, let me write it down. 56. Then, guys, 2 times 8 is 16. Okay. Then, 2 times 2 is 4. Put the 0 down. Now, guys, let's calculate. You see how fun this is, guys? If you can pass a grade, maybe grade 4 or 5, guys, you can pass primarily. And guys, if you stick to your teacher's teachings, or maybe, maybe go to, um, I don't know, but just do it though. Here, I'll just say 15, cause most, um, 6 plus 4 is 10, and 10 plus 5 is 15, so it adds up. So now, 4 plus 1, 2, 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. Now, there's my answer. But now, for the moment of truth, let's go to the method that was taught to you in grade 4 or 5. So now, again, I'm going to put my divider. Guys, you see how fun this is? Guys, you have to try it. Okay. So now, um, okay, there's my pink pin. Now I'll say 27 times 28. Okay. But before we calculate, I'm going to do it over and over again. Guys, if you're wondering why I'm repeating things, né? It's because I want you to get it correctly. Because some other people might, because other children... Maybe a slow learner or something. But guys, let me tell you something. A person is... If you think you are a slow learner, you are not. Right? Things take time. And guys, let me tell you something. Never give up. Okay? So now let's do this. 27 times 8. Okay? Then we add the golden zero... Then over here we add, we say 27 times 2. 
then you say you reply so that you can get our final answer okay oh no so um seven times eight is 56 okay guys let me go get a pencil and a rubber and a razor but unfortunately i call it a rubber so let me go get it Sorry for keeping you guys long, but unfortunately, this is a. If you don't know your tens tables, this is what you're gonna do, right? Can you see it? Okay. Good. Okay. I'm going to do this with the pencil here on top. I'll do that. Okay, maybe I made a mistake over here. I was supposed to add it on top of the two there. If it's okay with you guys. But guys, sorry. I gotta do what I gotta do. So now, 2 times 8. Right, 2 times 8 is 16. 16 plus 5 is... 16 plus 5 is 21. So, I'm going to write over here, 21, okay? Now, now that I'm done with all the 2 times, 7 times A, 2 times A, now I'm going to wrap out the 5s that I wrote down there. Guys, please don't take it as uh, something else, though. But sometimes a person does mistakes, right? Yeah. So, ouch, sorry. Now I take my lovely, my lovely red cookie pen and write there a nice zero over there, okay? Now I carry on with my calculations. Then now 7 times 2 is 14, okay? Yeah, 7 times 2 is 14, 14, and then I'll put it over there, top. I don't know if you can see my pencil writing over there. Okay, you can see it. But guys, please don't forget what I wrote over here. Ne? The first I wrote over here. Just forget about it. Right. Just calculate and just you will be fine. And guys, continue practicing. I'm telling you, if you continue practicing, everything will be okay. Right? If you continue practicing, of course, everything will be okay. Now, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay. Now, let's calculate. 6 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 4 is 5. 2 times 5 is 7. Now, guys, here's my calculations. And if you can see, this and this. Right, can you see that? Yeah, so this and this. 4,536 and the other method that you that you are taught in grade 4 and grade 5 is legit the same. Right, the very same answer but in a different method, right? So the very same thing over here. Ne? The, in this method that was taught in grade 6, ne? It's 756 and this one over here it's just a different method but guys the guys the reason why I'm doing the grade 4 and 5 method is that it's for you to remember how things are done right but it's just to remind you that whatever you're doing maybe you got something wrong but at the, um, the but guys there are a lot of challenges coming but guys this is to help you on your upcoming exams if you haven't written them though because unfortunately in my school we are writing exams yo so right now i'm helping you guys find a better way of passing school because we all want to got get jobs and stuff so, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs>